who work on this beautiful mural about Atlanta's finest and the heroes of Atlanta who really help the community. So we wanted to interview them and see what the inspiration was behind this amazing piece and also see any comments they had about the people. We're going to ask them a few questions just to see what it's like making this wonderful mural and how much work it took and what really inspired them, like I said. So, first question. When did you decide that you wanted to make a mural like this? I decided kind of early on during the pandemic and um, thinking just how tough of a time it's been and how to really honor people while they're here and also you know, give remembrance to individuals like John Lewis as well. Um, so that's uh, the original concept of just thinking about people who are trying to do good in our community. So many people we could think, but yeah, that's, what, that's where it started. Okay. Yeah, thank you. How, like, how much time did it take you to do this? It took months, months like, yeah. Weekends. It was like multiple different like days, like here and there. We were just you know trying to grind out and use the board at a time. Yeah. Um, touch ups took a while too. It was just a lot of like you know making sure everything was as accurate as possible to the pictures, while also wanting to keep that sort of colorful flair and really like make the pictures as lively as possible. Exactly. We didn't want to make it super realistic. We definitely wanted to where you see it, you kind of get a sense of who they are. You know they are who they are. It's not too abstract or it's not um, too evasive to where you're unsure. But we definitely want to add splashes of color and make it vibrant and different. Um, and so, yeah, we really had fun just doing all those little details. Amazing. Like I think you definitely achieved that goal because when you add it, I can definitely see like how Stacey Abrams is Skin, you know, and also um, the mayor, Mayor Bottoms. So it's really great. Thank you. What made you choose that? And what made you really? I'm the next inspiration question. I just want to know why you did this and how you did it. Sure. The color choices um, almost yeah. came kind of randomly. So I, you know, color theory is really, really important. Like they use it so. Um, they use it so instinctively in marketing or in different designs. Like for example, um, a lot of red is used for like fast food and they're, they're just trying to show energy and passion and like come here or like stop and come here. You know, color means a lot to the human being and us as creatives, creatives, us as artists, um, want to use color in a certain way that showcases activity and showcases Loyalty and blue is a really harmonious color too. Um, and then we have softer colors like yellow is a really nice soft color, and pink is a really nice soft color as well. So while we have like a, a really dominant color that's like the dark blue, we still have lighter colors that really shows like a sense of softness, and really showcases you know light contrast and things like that. So we really wanted to make it uh, stand out, and so we chose those colors based off of that. Yeah. So there's so many wonderful people in the world. What made you choose these people? Yeah. So what would you say? Like, um, well, like it was pretty people that you know when you're from Atlanta and you live here for so long, you kind of see people in your everyday life. Yeah. And I know Mr. Mars is the most literal example because we literally saw him for, for like a long time when yeah. you're a student. You see him like once a week, like every week. Yeah. But like you know Tyler Perry, you see like bits and pieces of everybody here um, all the time like how um, our mayor like impacts our policy in the city yeah. and how like I said Tyler Perry like impacts like what we see on television yeah and, and he know. has a, a studio here now yeah and, and so yeah. we just want to choose people and you know Joe Vita Moore who we saw in the news for years and years and years you know um, we want to choose people that maybe as like a local Atlanta person, you don't realize who's so impactful because you see them every day. Right. And we want to highlight, you know, them as people. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't always have to be like, oh, they're super, super famous. There's so many people working in the communities. You may not know them, but they, they're making a huge impact. So we wanted to like really showcase certain people in that aspect of like, hey, here's, we're introducing you to someone that's also doing something really special. We have two more questions. So as close to saying the color and you were answering questions about color theory, what what I'm asking is do you make any changes? Do you feel at first that you should use 
one color and then change it to another because it looks like a lot of thought was put into this and as you were saying about the color it really is you have to do something that will drop the attention so was it a hard process or was it pretty easy and did you make any changes yeah that's a really good question um so initially i i didn't know what color was going to be for like the background or even little elements of the background i kind of had a, a an idea of how i wanted to do um the figure like the faces and things um so what what happened during the process is we we just stuck um to the original concept um to our original reference and we stuck with it. We didn't really make a lot of changes. Of what like, changed the most was probably the color. Yeah. But that was more like a purposeful change because yes. we didn't want the, we want the pose to be more expressive. It's yeah. sort of like, you know, it's more free. Yeah. It's less like every detail has to show the creases or the folds of your clothing. It's a lot more free, more fun, more pop art. Um, so those changes were definitely made. Um, as far as like the original color choices that we were deciding on, um, that part was very solid, especially with the time that we had. We wanted to make sure we revealed it and got it out on time and, you know, following a certain schedule. So we didn't really make too much changes that didn't really need to be changed. Well, my last and final question is, as a, someone who's worked on murals before, you can really want to just stop because being in the Georgia heat and yeah. just working so hard to get it right doesn't always come out how you like it. Yeah. What made you not give up? Um, I think just really your love for doing what you do. Like you always have down times or you always have times where you feel unsure or if you're not that good or you're comparing yourself maybe to, to other people. And those are things that can like passively make you um, have self-doubt and things like that. But if you really love something, that really gives you a sense of like self-assurance and it really helps to know that everyone starts from somewhere, so maybe you're not always the best, but if you keep at it, if you keep showing that you really enjoy something, it shows in your work and it also shows in like the work, your work ethic, so I think that's really, really important. And then also some of it like maybe in a more literal sense, like when you're up on a mural and you're like on the face, it may feel like something is wrong or that you're not doing something right, but you do what I would do was, I would just step back step and back. look at it from afar. Yeah. Cause then you and can really fine. see the progress you made and see that it looks okay. But when yeah. you're like, you're like eyeball to eyeball yeah. with the mural, it feels like everything's off. It doesn't look like a face. Like yeah, you're everything's like, what just like, <laughs> yeah, so everything's just going wrong. But then you step back and, and you're like, oh. that it, it does work out and it does look good. Like, so. Yeah, definitely step back. Yeah, And then that's enough, enough thing to take breaks too. Um, you don't have to like try to make a perfect masterpiece in one day, like this took months. So we we definitely were like timing and trying to pace it out. Once again, at Atlanta's finest by these two amazing artists here, these muralists, and take a good look, everyone, because it's really truly a great. Thank you for the Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Here behind this mysterious black cloth that let them know that they are making a difference in this community and that we see them we appreciate them and we respect all the work they do and just to say a special shout out to mr vita moore we pray that what happens on the stage tonight will bring her a little bit of joy a little bit of peace as she's going through her healing process amen Absolutely eloquent, amazing. And before the night is over, you'll be like, I get it. I get it. So take a moment and let them know who is here with us this evening. Introduce yourself. My name is Yab Watson, and I am the co host for tonight's event. I am really excited to be here today. Right. So can we give y'all a big hand? Woo! Okay, so let me start over again. Just in case you don't know, she is only in the eighth grade okay so you know when our young people hit the stage and they are as eloquent and as poised as she is you have to go ham so again i will say give it up for miss yeah so, so grateful. and my name is Alyssa worrell i'm one of the past
pastors of World Changers Church International. Super excited to be here. I just, I feel like with her, I'm just kind of hanging out. Okay, I'm just hanging out. Take a pause for the cause and give a big hand and acknowledge the first part of the So we are just so super excited about this moment. Along the way, I've not gotten a lot of accolades. I really don't need them because I know what I do. Right, I've done what I do. I'm going to do some more until I go. But I want to acknowledge the people that I've been around for a long time. And some of them include the person who set this up. Where's Mr. Bussy? Mr. Bussy, there are just so many people that have been around uh, over the years. We built the Hilliards on Main. We did the McCoy Place in East Point uh, on Ben Hill Road. I think we were the first to start with a new development in many, many years. A lot has been done over time, and it's all about trying to make a difference and caring. Thank you, young lady. You are going to be uh, already R.A. Uh, <laughs> you already have, okay? By the way, while I'm walking off, I want you to know that this is Marvin. Marvin, you know, the little girl, who is she? The little girl over there in the back, Taylor. Taylor uh, brought us here years ago when she was first going to first grade. I think it was in first grade, Taylor. Might have been kindergarten. But anyway, and we came over here because she wanted us to swing and have a good time. We came. For honoring me with this and also to ask you if you would when you have an opportunity come down Washington Road there's a legacy house there called Wynn's Legacy Museum moment, take the limelight and listen to the accolades for yourself. The founding executive director, Mr. Marvin Bussey, became aware of problems of area youth in the pressing need for prevention and intervention services needed to make a difference in their lives. And since the program's inception, he has served thousands of children, whom many have completed their education, launched successful careers, and they are making their own personal impact. Dr. M.L. King stated, everyone can be great because everyone can serve. And so we know that it's something that you do. And on behalf of this amazing moment, we would like to present to you this award, Mr. Marvin Bussey. Can you please give him a hand? The founder of the Mario Art Academy, Mario and his wife, Sean, he is to college, um, learning computer animation. Uh, they vary genre of arts, and we're just so proud of them. So today to really bring me along these greats behind me is just amazing. Just really, really, it's really gonna challenge me to say what, what can I do more to make an even greater impact. Awesome. Beautiful, make sure we get a picture of our prize winners. We wanna go ahead with our next honoree. So excited about, well wait a minute, we got one in the back, even though he tried, do we want to still give our expert, kid expert in the back yes. um, a prize? Definitely. We can't At least he tried. At least he tried. His name is Mr. John Lewis. And I'm sure we all know a little bit about him. But to give you some of his bio, he was an American statesman and civil rights activist who served in the United States House of Representatives for Georgia's 5th Congressional District from 1987 until his death in 2020. So he's an honoree because all the amazing work he's done for the community, and we really want to honor that because he is a hero. Definitely, and I know in this day and age, just when you say the name John Lewis, for many of us, would you agree? Just to say the name John Lewis, so many memories come to mind. Some of you may have directly been impacted by his life, but I'm telling you, this is one of those. We are so excited about 
about how you just came in representing the one, the love. So, Councilman, we appreciate you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we could not, not, not take a moment and just give a big hand for our Councilman, Mr. Lance Robinson. So we're so excited. And since you're here, we're going to have you accept on the behalf. That we, our time here is impactful. That you're kind to people when you're here. That you make impact on them. They remember you for the good things you've been for them. So, does that have anything to do with art? Yes. It has everything to do with art. Because art touches people in a way that other things cannot. So it's an honor to be honored, but it's my honor for you to take your time here, to come out here and share this time with us. We're honoring all of these people. We've been in contact with all of their offices. <coughs> Whether they're here or not, uh, they know about this event. That's most important. Thank you so much for coming out. I will see you this um, Thank you. Heads up, smiles on, be yourself, love who you are.